Move up true line, boys. Let's go. Oh my God. Gosh, it is cold up here. I didn't take off any layers. It is tailing again. Are you kidding me right now? This is exactly why we woke up at 4 a.m. to hike Baldy, is to avoid storms like this. What's up guys, so it is day 9, July 23rd, 2021, which means today is summit day. So it is currently 4.23 in the morning. Everyone is packing up, getting ready to go on this day hike up to Mount Baldy. So Mount Baldy stands at 12,400 feet. We're at 10,500 feet, so it's going to be about just under a 2,000 foot climb. It's not said to be extremely difficult since we're doing it in day packs. So it should be a fun time. I'm really excited for this. I'm waiting to do this hike ever since I heard about Philmont. I've wanted to do I wanted to climb Mount Baldy for five years. And today, the day is finally here. So we got about four miles to go and we'll be at the summit. So let's do it. Aiden, what you ready to summit Baldy? Let's go. Justin, you ready to summit Baldy? Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay. Well, everyone has a meal. Yeah? Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. I have snacks I, I as well. Have your meal mark. Um, everybody has water. Yep. yep. I have extra uh -huh. too. Yeah, I have extra water. All right, guys, if everyone's here and everybody's ready, is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Anyone not ready? All right, let's go. Woo. There she is. All right, guys, up the mountain. That's a beaut right there. Holy crap. Alright, so we're done with the 14 switchbacks. Now we just gotta find a place for a nice view on the ridge or make a full ascent of the tree line. Alright, made the top of the ridge. Which way we go? Oh boy, yeah. straight up. As soon as I see a view, I'm stopping. Yeah. Oh, just lost the trail for a bit. 
There it is. I know. This bridge line walk is beautiful though. Oh, I saw the birds are coming up. Oh, it's gonna be close. over here what is this hold up oh I found a view over here oh my gosh holy smokes Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the sun. It's going up. We are above true life, boys. Let's go! Oh my god! High five, dude! Let's go! This is awesome! Yeah! Breakfast or snacks? Yeah, doing breakfast. Breakfast and snacks. Reward for the sunrise. Getting up for the sunrise. Got the brown sugar pop tart. Was it actually? Start cleaning up and getting out of here. All right, you can see people at the top there. They really got up early for that, and then you could see the death trail over here come down. That is, looks very steep and treacherous and very dangerous. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what this over to the right is, but the one to the far left is definitely, definitely the death trail. All right, we're getting packed up and getting ready to keep going along this ridge. We'll try to keep our crew until that, the, the final ascent. Thing. Yeah. And then we'll meet up at the top. Sounds like a plan.
Yo. Yo. Oh, there's all. Oh, jeez, be careful, bro. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's cold. Yeah, it is really cold, but it's so worth it. I'm so glad we're doing this at the end of the trip. Yeah. Looks like we're about to actually leave True Line. This stretch of trail is amazing. It's gotta be the best ever. Got this mix of pine forest and shale. It's just beautiful. You can still you hear the birds waking up. This is magnificent. Now, our path to get there is we have to go across this ridge and make the final push up to the summit. This is going to be probably like at least a 40 degree, 40% 40 grade over here. So, we probably won't be able to stick together as a group. We'll just meet each other when we get to the top. So glad we're doing this at the end of the trip. I don't think it would be at, it would be as monumental if we did it like earlier on. But yeah, so worth it. We're getting there. We're almost there. We can do this. shadow and then we're gonna start the final push up to the top this is really, really gonna get interesting Hayden just told us that make sure we're not directly behind another in case a rock comes flying down that way we don't get hit by it so we have to be careful about that Time for the final push up to Baldy. This is about to be very interesting. Mr. Blue said it was, this is sort of the same thing, sort of the same climb as Kilimanjaro. So, let's send it, boys! Send it! This is straight up. Yeah, I might go up switchback style. This is extremely steep. And this shale is very slippery. It wants to move.
How much further? Are you serious? Shut up. Shut up. No way. We're gonna get the baldy? Oh my god, we made it. Yeah. This is it. We made the baldy. What a view. Hey there, you made it! Yeah! Let's go! Woo. You made it, bro. Yes, sir, I am. All right, yay. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome up here. Cool. I just turned on my, uh, turned off airplane mode. I'm getting like 200 billion notifications. Yeah, I keep I having to swipe <laughs> up. <laughs> but yeah, we made it. It's awesome up here. It's, there's not a cloud in the sky. Uh, there's, the, there's lots of valley fog around. Cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Justin, you're at Matt Baldy. How do you feel? Uh, tired? Oh, no, I feel great actually. <laughs> it's wonderful up here. Oh yeah, it's uh, I don't beautiful. Have signal, but... Oh, you don't? No. no. It's okay. I don't need signal. I'm like, that I'm like Lukey over there, yeah, stubborn I mean, child. The so we came up this ridge here, got caught the sunrise along yeah, here, right then came yeah, all the way right up here. Right over there. So. So if you want to sum it all, you know, Locust you still Peak is right there. I think Whiteman Vega is that farthest meadow down there. That's pretty crazy. We went all the way from there to here. <laughs> See, Woman Vega, that furthest wet meadow down there, kind of looks like a like a hand, almost. Uh, oh yeah. So that that's that that's Whitman Vega. Vega. Oh, my God. We were all the way down there. Yeah. So we made it to Bali, elevation twelve thousand four hundred feet, above sea level. What a gorgeous day to summit. We've seen a lot of increasing clouds. But it is awesome up here. Oh, Haynes down there. Everyone else is chilling up there. Haynes saying hi. Yeah, the majority of people I've seen up here, the first thing they're doing is calling their parents. Yeah, never thought I would make it up here. There's the her best thing on. First thing I heard was Mount Baldy, and I was like, do this. I was like, I'm to it. And it's pretty surreal that I'm up here right now. This, this, I mean, this, this hike exceeds my expectations. The fact that we got to see the sunrise, go above tree line, make that final push up the, uh, uh, up the shale, the sliding shale up here. What an adventurous hike. Man, something I'll never forget. Never ever forget. And I would encourage everyone who is thinking about doing film on to make sure they pick an itinerary that, that has Baldy because. You're literally on top of the world. I mean, this is, this is, I'm literally on top of the world right now. It really feels like you're on top of the world. It's crazy up here. Hi. Hi, Mark's vlog. Yo, what's up, guys? Hello, Yo. Uh, hello, Mark's viewers. Hello, YouTube. All right, so Justin, for breakfast, got two-piece trash once again. So you're gonna do push-ups on top of Mount Baldy. You ready? Hold on. So. Here's the two-piece trash. All right. I screwed up. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. What's up? Go down this way. Oh, shoot. The lightning trail? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather fall down the mountain and get struck by lightning. <laughs> Is this, the, is this the beginning of the dust trail? Oh my gosh. Yo, let's go full send, boys. Full send the death trail. Full send, boys. There's a mini bear at 12,000 feet. Confirmed. There it is. Almost 12,000 feet. Mini bear. These guys just go anywhere they want. This mini bear, is the, the mini bear does not care what elevation it's at. It wants food. <laughs> Alright, we're officially hanging back down. Wow, look at the shadows going across the ridge there. That's beautiful. I think we got down just in time for the Baldy rush hour. This is bringing back memories of old rag. There's just so many people here right now. Some people going down, some, a lot of people coming this way. Madness. We were almost to the bottom of the ascent, and that's where we were, way up there, just a couple hours ago. Now we're all the way over here. Made it back to camp. All right. Let's go. All right, we're gonna treat some water at this nifty uh, hose here. So Mr. Nichols and Mr. Newman went down to Bali Town to get more water towels because we're pretty short on them. So yeah, so once we get back, we should be the concern of water tablets should go down yeah. why is the water so cloudy what the it's frick so warm. it's warm yeah. holy crap it's like the water back at base camp <laughs> oh my <laughs> freaking jeez <laughs> come on justin you don't know what, what what right from left is <laughs> 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 Bro, what, what's this yellow. one? Yellow. What is that one? No, that's a, it was like clear. It was, it was, it was cloudy. cloudy before. What the heck? Maybe, maybe the water purification tower made it change color. I don't. Maybe forget. that's I purifying. Know. Maybe it's turning into pearl piss. <laughs> 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 Matt, uh, you have a tube? No, I don't. Or like dried papyrus. Mm -hmm. What? Do you want to play go fish with us? Never mind. <laughs> Like grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was just vibing with music until the ghost came back. 
I turned it this way. I, mean, I took a nap and I woke up when I came back. I was just pretend. I was just like. No, that's not better. Uh, so right. I heard that they had five miles to Bolly Town. That's yeah, hella impressive. Yeah. For this yeah, speed too. I heard it's not. I heard it's not that bad of walking here to Bolly Town. Yeah, it's flat. Okay, cool. And this trail. Bro, you look like you woke up from like hibernation. <laughs> Dude. I had a baller ass nap. Yeah, me too. I, I, I had an hour, I had an hour nap too, dude. Yeah, me too. I, I felt, I feel so relieved right now. That's what the nice thing about getting to camp early. Most days on this trip, we've we've gone to camp around noon or one o'clock. We don't usually start having dinner until about four. So it gives us time to relax and unwind for a bit. That's always nice. Right now, I'm actually heading to the trailhead of the Bully Death Trail. I don't think what we saw yesterday was actually the trailhead, but I really talked about why this death trail exists. So this trail has been in existence for a while because it still appears on the old topographic maps and it's used as an emergency route. It's about a mile in length, which is Pretty, pretty uh, short considering from here to Bali is about two and a half miles. So it's used as an emergency in case, you know, there's crews that are stranded because of the thunderstorm. So there's one year, several years back, where a crew got struck by lightning and they all survived, but like half of them had to do CPR for the ones that were unconscious. So that's basically what it's used for. It's highly discouraged because of the steepness of it and the extremely loose shale. Also, these red roof ends are actually pretty good. Um, there's one that the lowlander says that I were flooded, so we have not been using that one. Flooded by mean with waste. Um, other red roofs we've gone to, it smelled so bad we had to wear our face masks in them because it just smells so bad. At Bali Skyline, uh, there are so many flies there. Holy crap. So I think this is the Bali Death Trail because it keeps going, going. I don't see any more campsites. So I'm pretty sure it's the Bali Death Trail. So I'm going to turn back. I'll see here with some thunder. It's probably an approaching storm. It didn't get as cold as it I thought it was going to be. Because we're at 10,000 feet. Um, and usually, the higher you go, obviously the colder it's going to be at night. But it wasn't as bad, so hopefully it won't be the same as it was at uh, Middle Planeal tonight, because Middle Planeal was cold. Oh yeah, there's thundering. There's a storm coming. Whoopee. It's cold. You guys good? good. Nice. <laughs> How about hailstorm? Uh, yeah, like, hey, remember I told you yesterday? Remember I told you yesterday that I, that I wish there was a rain, there was a hailstorm? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, your stuff is fine.
Oh my gosh, my pack is like... My pack cover is like buried in mud. Mine's gonna be gross. Oh my gosh. Bro, it looks like, like a dusting of snow. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Who all is in here? It's just me. Oh, it's just go, you? Nico was in here too. Oh. And then um, Finn came over here. I don't know why Finn is in the Are you seeing that? It's like it's like a dusting came through of snow. Dude, look! I... <laughs> look at all these fucking hailstones! It's like different dot dot size hail. Dude, it was so loud. If you were just in here, it was raining, and then it got so much louder. Yeah, I'm like, why is it getting loud? I'm like, oh wait a minute, it's hailing. What the why heck? Did it hail? <laughs> you cursed us. Bro, I'm sorry. I like, I, yeah, I wanted to see cool. hail, okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, it'd be cool if we kind of hailed. You know, that'd be fun. No, <laughs> no, what? I, I enjoyed it. The lighting was terrible, but the hail was pretty cool. Was terrifying, yeah. yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> also, how are the pots holding out? Uh, there's like hail in them. <laughs> Bro, look at this. It's like, it's like a slushy in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. my gosh. Like the whole yeah, I just saw like the. Oh, as soon as I saw like the like like a like a river flowing like next to the tent, I'm like, oh crap. Dude, you, 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 we dodged that, dude. Did we dodge it? Yeah, yeah, you, we're we're fine. I mean, my, I mean, the kick up from the the rain, my boots and stuff are soaked. Not the inside though, but like all your stuff is inside the tent is dry. Lovely. Yeah. There was like a half an inch of water over here. Oh jeez. I'm sitting on a rock. And I was, this is the highest spot in the drying tower right now, so I'm I'm oh, chilling. Krothik, how are you doing? Uh, I'm alright. <laughs> okay. But like... I think our TP is kind of too far. I mean, the stuff in the, the the big bag is... The stuff in the, the cattle kits and the sealed bags are okay. But I think some of that stuff might be a little wet. We might have to get more. Oh my gosh. Uh, so the apple cider might be fucked. At least the dinners are fine because they're in plastic bags. Oh yeah, it's flooded. Shit. Luckily for us, dinner is in vacuum sealed bags. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's yes. a good thing. Uh, Hayden, how long have you been in the rain? Oh, I was under the fly the whole time. Oh, uh, dining fly? Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. That's kind of a nice view, though. It is kind of dope. Yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah. like a mystery sort of feeling, you know? Yeah. You dodged the river. Yeah, just barely. Holy crap. I think every tent dodged the river, except for the rainfly. This is exactly why we woke up at 4 a.m. to hike Baldy, is to avoid storms like this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's like a rock in there, and then people put stuff on the rock, so I was sitting on like a bear bag and like the toilet paper essentially. Dude, I was- Yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay on my sleeping pad. I was sitting on my sleeping pad. I was on my- I was like- I was just counting. Yeah, I count- I heard you count. Like, I think I got the two and bam. Yeah, it was like, I, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? I remember oh. that one. There's so many of those. I'm like, holy crap. Uh, the light coming through those drippy trees. Yeah. Okay, that's a kind of cool shot. That's However, so I am very cold and I do not want so to cook got, today. We've got sun through the mist. We've got, we've got piles of white. <laughs> what the hell? We've got rivers through our campsite. Yeah. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. I, do you have any extra stakes? Because I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pull my uh, my tent out there. I've never have so far. I hadn't needed it, but it was uh, it was coming in the end. There's an extra stakes in the tent that to go to that, which stayed up. Yeah, uh, it stayed up because we were under. <laughs> this is actually not a great campsite. No, because look look at all the how the water flows here. Well, I figured it could get wet, but I didn't think it. But it would have to be a heavy rain for it to do that. And it was heavy rain. <laughs> well, luckily for us. <laughs> Huh. Oh man, that light. Mike, did you do your goddamn weather dance again? No, this is Luke's fault. No, it's my fault. I'm the one that told Hayden yesterday that I wish it hailed. It wasn't even yesterday. It was earlier today. You were like, yeah, No, I told him. No, I told you yesterday that. You said that? Yes, I said that. I'm what not. What is wrong with you? You <laughs> were like, Yeah, hail's pretty cool. We should see. I wish it could cool if we saw some hail. What the hell is wrong Stop with you? It. I wanted the hail. It was cool. We might as well call you a weatherman and not a meteorologist because obviously you just called this shit into existence. <laughs> Why don't you clean up your ditty bag? What about in your, in your tent? What's in your tent? I don't know. Nothing? Our tent got flooded. Your tent got flooded? Yeah, there's like a puddle in it. Oh. Oh. Did you see the tent's dry? No. Did you know? That's not a good thing. Look at the pack. I thought you meant the thing. 
Oh. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Yikes. How bad is it in there? Oh, uh, it's actually not that bad. But uh, that, was, that was a bit of a puddle, yeah. Yeah, just on the Jeez. side, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, your side is fine. Yeah, my side is okay, chilling. Okay, that's good. Jeez, dude. Yeah. So since the dining area is completely soaked, we moved the cooking area to over here. It was a little bit drier, but it's it's a slight improvement, but it's still wet. All of my stuff is soaked. Yeah. I want, I want the people of YouTube to know that. There's a GoFundMe for loot stuff to get me new stuff. I'm cold, I'm dying, and I'm suing <laughs> REI. <laughs> suing REI. No, 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 yeah. you got to sue Philmont too. Yeah, and Philmont. Yeah. And, and Boy Scouts in general. <laughs> and, and Eureka, because that's what you're doing. Yeah, Eureka too, because that, that, that's the main deal. Eureka messed up big time. I'm also going to sue whatever company made my sleeping bag. I'm going to sue everything. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a white mom, okay? <laughs> On this freezing cold evening, we got a vegetarian dish. Got some jalapeno, pretzel sticks, and then some cookies. Pretty cold, but everyone's enjoying it because it's nice and warm. I already put away the coffee. It is tailing again. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Okay, I didn't mean this much hail when I said I wanted it to hail. And yeah. Just is what it is. Ow. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, that hurts. That yeah. actually hurts. Okay, tail it again. Yeah, it I know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on, get up. Frick, this is actually hurts my hands. Ow. Oh, Holy God. crap, this hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so cold. That is cold. All right, I got sticks. I got sticks. Go, come on, pull, pull the oh. Here, someone grab this. Someone grab this. I can't hold. So, so someone grab this. All right, I'll put a stick right there. All right, go, go around, go. Around. Oh, frick. Sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. All right, go, go. All right, I got it. All right, you got. It. You have all the slack for the. Keep holding tight. Go, go, go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Alright, so... Alright guys, so we just finished putting out the bear bag. And Hay and I are chilling this red roof till the rain lets up because I don't want to change my sleeping clothes in the rain. So I'll do a full uh, debrief of today, uh, tomorrow morning. This will be, that will be included in today's video. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not raining. Hopefully it'll stop soon because it's pretty miserable out here. All right, guys. So this next day, uh, I'm just gonna talk about what we what we went through uh, yesterday, which will be in today's video, obviously. So after uh, Hayden and I 
so the rain actually did calm down. So Hay and I left the red roof and changed and went to bed. The, the leaves, were, the rain was still dripping from the trees, but it wasn't actually raining. So we went to bed around like eight thirty or so, and yeah. So yeah, yes, yeah. Today was quite the day. Uh, Mount Baldy, fantastic. That was a really great hike. There's a lot of switchbacks, about fourteen switchbacks. And the hike was really wasn't that hard. Uh, and it was beautiful views all around on the ridge line and everything. It was awesome. The weather was perfect. Uh, and then coming back was also very nice because we got to see what we didn't see on the way up. So, that's, <clears throat> so, so we had to see Mount Baldy on the way down because we didn't really see on the way up because it was dark. Uh, then we got back to camp and I took like, a really nice nap. That was really well worth it. And it was really nice after hiking eight miles. And then around 4 p.m., that's when stuff started popping off because we had the massive hailstorm with lots of lightning. And it was ridiculous. It felt like we it was really, we could really, you could literally hear the air expand because it was so close. I think we had probably like five lightning strikes that were less than half a mile from our campsite. And they probably occurred on the, on the nearby mountains, but they were pretty darn close. I think Matthew said that he heard a tree snap after a lightning struck or something. I don't know. Uh, but then after that, we thought we were in the clear, so we started drying stuff out. Um, Finn put up a, uh, a clothesline, which much appreciated. Thank you, Finn, for that. Um, and then around, I think just as we were getting, just as we were getting dinner going, just as we were getting served dinner, just as we were, um, getting dinner served, it was a great meal, by the way. The hot dinner really warmed my spirits. We had another hailstorm come through. Even more rain. There wasn't. It wasn't much of the lightning maker, but it was the hail. Was the hail actually hurt? Because we were playing with the bear ducks as the hail was coming down. So it was getting. On my, it, was, it was hitting my hands. It was. It was actually really hurt. So, yeah. And then it just kind of got kept going on and off throughout the evening. Um. So yeah. So that was basically. Uh. Today. So. I will see you guys tomorrow for day ten. We'll be hiking to Miranda. Uh, that'll be about five, six miles. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.